unbelievable trouble for Atiku as well as Tinubu because of what is going on right now. Imam are campaigning for another presidential candidate at Eid Prayer in Northern States. You know, everybody's tired of the status quo and wherever the rail of hope can come from, that's where everyone is tending towards. And do you blame them? My answer is no. We've all been in that space where we want change and we're tired of, you know, the people who come promise and at the end of the day, all liars to a large extent, none of them are ready to keep their promises. You know, a lot of water has gone down the drain. Nigerians are tired and do not want the same thing all over again. For crying out loud, Nigeria wants younger, you know, candidates who has the potential of what it takes to attract foreign investors after ending in security because nobody wants to invest in a place where there is no safety. So at Eid Prayer, we see Imam, you know, contest, you know, campaigning for another presidential candidate. Don't forget that both Tinubu and Atiku are, you know, Muslims and um, this is becoming a real serious issue. Let's get all the details. Trouble for Atiku, Tinubu, as Imam campaigned for another presidential candidate at Eid Prayer in Northern States. It appeared religious leaders have taken it to another level and are getting actively involved in the peasant politics ahead of 2023 general election. At the Eid Prayer in Kano on Saturday, July the 9th, the chief Imam of Dani Jubmat Mosque, Kano, Shaki Mohammed, threw his weight behind Rabbi Kwonkoso. The clergy said the presidential candidate of the NNPP has all the qualities to lead Nigeria and has out, out whom the, and had bust the, the home of APC and PDP presidential candidates. Shaki Mohammed, the chief imam of the Jimat Mosque in Kano, has reportedly urged Rabbi Konkoso, the presidential candidate of the new Nigerian People's Party, to pursue his ambition with vigor, delivering the Eid sermon to thousands of worshippers, including Konkoso, on Saturday, July the 9th. The imam said the, no, the former governor of Kano State is a man who has served Kano with honor, truth, and integrity. And if given opportunity, we replicate more in Nigeria. He prayed to Allah to salvage Nigeria from the current security challenges and guide the, the, the current administration of the country to success. He also prayed and said those who, are, those who also want to make sure that Nigeria becomes a safe nation must vote in the presidential candidate of NNPP, Rabi Ukwankoso. He says it is important now that we get involved and make a decision for our nation that will be better for every one of us. We can't sit aside and pretend that we're not aware of what is going on because it affects us all. It is time Nigerians make the right call and pick in the candidate that could potentially bring a change to the Nigerian's economy. For too long, we have been quiet and allow those who do not mean well to become the leader of the country and see how it has affected us. It is important now that Nigerians actively get involved and vote for the candidate who has what it takes to salvage the country from the current predicament. Rabbi Okwankoso is one of us. He has served before in Kano State, and what he did, if given the opportunity, should replicate all such across the country. So everyone should get on board and make sure they vote this man who has what it takes to solve the problem. So these are imams who are rising up to say they feel very strongly that Rabbi Ukwankoso has got what it takes to solve Nigerian's problem because of what he has done before. And then they are and, and, you know, encouraging people to come alongside Rabbi Ukwankoso. I mean, this election, it has never been this. It has never been so before. It has never been so. A lot of persons do not really bother, do not really get involved in politics. But as it stands, <laughs> all hands on deck. Oh. If you want things to change, all hands on deck. Religious leaders are all getting involved, everybody's getting involved, you know, and doing all they possibly can to ensure that Nigeria gets the, you know, the best of leadership because of the current spark and spirit of insecurity. Those who, you know, who do not mean well for the country, sadly, are the ones who are coming on board. And you can see that they, ha they don't have any iota of care or concern. Look at how the, the devastation in the country, look at all that is happening. So you won't blame them if they get involved and they are encouraging Nigerians especially those 
who you know are listening to them speak and say you know what it is time we get involved and ensure that we vote in the right candidate everybody must get involved at some point if we keep if we keep quiet and allow those who have been detecting the course of the system to continue let's not expect a different result the only time we can get a different result is when we get involved and actively say no enough is enough so thus far you have done your own it is time for us to make a different change at this point in time and ensure that change truly come so that every one of us can truly enjoy the benefits of a nation that is for every one of us where we can truly be happy you see so these are some of the things going on and why nigerians are encouraged to vote both christians and muslims alike everyone is encouraging their people get their pvcs the more the merrier let's vote and let's vote for the right candidate that could potentially and possibly you know bring a lot of difference currently today what we are experiencing okay you, you know all that we are experiencing is part of what has made the country what it is today because we picked the wrong set of persons and when we do that the adverse effect is what we are all suffering and so if we want that you know that whole scenario and that whole thing to change then every one of us have to begin to call a spade a spade and ensure that uh, the truth is being dispensed and is being you know we are all on board with what the truth should be uh, if rabbi Kwonkoso is your candidate you must go get your pvc if chenobu atiku peter obi or any of the other presidential candidates you must go get your pvc they will never get there with you speculating and doing nothing and remember you cannot vote for them on social media it must be you must be you must actively have you know your pvc and you must actively vote for them to have any chance of winning or becoming the voice that they ought to be other than that you are making a huge mistake yes so it is what it is the time to advance and to make that difference is now so that we all can truly have a change and have someone who who understands the the case of this nation understand what we are going through you know and is doing something to truly advance the course of the nation where we can truly all be happy and sincerely you know move forward you know as a nation you see it is about time nigerians begin to understand that you know once upon a time we've accepted some things but now we're stronger we are wiser we are better and we make more this more informed decision leave us a comment don't forget to like us share subscribe god bless have a fantastic day from us it's bye for now